Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. Today's video in my seed starting series for 2020 is how to start your own sweet potato slips. I've been growing sweet potatoes every year for the last couple of years. I really enjoy it. We're going to go over two ways actually that you can start them using the standard water and also starting them in starting mix. And then I'm also going to cut in video from 2018 and show you the harvesting of this variety of sweet potato. So this will be a comprehensive video. It'll show you how to set it up. It'll show you the growth of the slips, the tall greenery that'll come off of here that will cut and root. That would go into the containers or ground, and then I'm going to show you the harvest. So let's start with a couple of um, principles. Let's start with a fail. So I tried starting this about three weeks ago to have it prepared for this video, but you can see that it rotted out. So if your sweet potato starts rotting in points, it's pretty much done. A couple of roots, this is what we call a failure. Don't be afraid to just start over. So that's what we're going to do. Now we're going to set them up the standard way in water. And that's pretty straightforward in the sense that you don't want to submerge the entire sweet potato. You just want a little bit of it in there. So you figure out about the depth and you put in your first toothpick. And we're just going to use three. You don't want the toothpicks to be submerged. You don't want any water getting in there because you're wounding the potato, so to speak. You want that to dry out in the air and that would just sit in there. We'll set that up in a second. Maybe that could be a little bit deeper. You also want a nice heavy glass so this doesn't fall over. Now, I picked up my sweet potatoes at an organic store and when you pick them out, of course, look through them. Make sure there's no scrapes or cuts or any kind of nick in there that's going to cause it to start to rot. Well, this one is actually, and you want to pick the, the right size. Like, this is going to be hard to be put, in, <laughs> to put into a glass, so you want something that is a little bit more slender. We'll set that one up. Make that one a little bit deeper. And that's all you have to do to set them up to be dropped in water. Now, sweet potatoes and potatoes are different. They're both tubers. This is a root tuber, which means it grows down at the tip of the root system. They both do the same thing. They store starch, they store energy, so that your sweet potato or your potatoes can survive harsh conditions. They can overwinter, and then the next year, you know, they can come back. If you want to start them a different way, and I've done this once and it worked. I don't have any footage on it, but you can trust me. Let me get rid of those toothpicks. Is get a container. You can use the foil container like this. Shoebox size plastic works. You're going to fill this halfway with soil. And we're going to grow these right on the soil. Now sweet potatoes, you want to start a good 60 days before they would get outside. And I'll explain that towards the middle of this video with the footage from last year. But the slips can take 30 days to start and then they need about 30 days of growth. And then when you harvest them off of here, you have to put them into water so that they root and you get a nice root system. So it could be, you know, 45 days to 90 days. So start in February. I'm in Maryland Zone 7. Yeah, Maryland Zone 7. So you get February, March, April, even into May is fine. They take about 100 plus days to mature and they only really like warm weather. So there's no rush to get these outside. Putting your slips out in the ground when the ground is, you know, even 50 degrees doesn't really matter with sweet potatoes. They like warm soil, 60 degrees, 80, 90 degree days. So you want to get them in, say, mid-May in my area or June and they're going to grow June, July, August into September a good 100, 120 days. And you know when to harvest them, when the leaves start turning yellow and dying back. So it's pretty easy to harvest, but you wanna make sure you get that 100 plus day of warm weather growth to get really nice sized sweet potatoes. Starting mix, it's all been sterilized. I put the video series for seed starting in the description. There's, a, like I said, maybe 22 or 23 videos in there now. And it'll talk to you, or it'll talk to you, it'll show you how to set up your starting mix with boiling water so you don't get fungus nets. You kill them off, basically. 
So really moisten the starting mix and you got to do this by hand and you want it to a point that it's saturated but not so wet so that when you squeeze it a couple of drops come out and you just want to add some water once a week to this keep it moist and you're just going to bury these about two inches down maybe an inch or so you just want to make sure that the sweet potato has good contact to the soil underneath and around it you know maybe an inch or two in between but you can start your sweet potatoes like this and if you want to subscribe I'll show you the whole growth process the harvesting of the slips the rooting of the slips getting these into the ground feeding them taking care of them and harvesting this year so that's how you would set them up fill it halfway first because when you put the potato in it's going to raise the water level okay add in some more And that's all you do to really get started. I don't think there's enough water here. Whoop, too much water. <laughs> I guess there was enough. They don't have to go to a sunny window yet. They can just go anywhere in your house where it's warm. When you start seeing the green buds appear, then you can get them to the window so they can get sunlight. They don't have to go under grow lights. Um, a window will work perfectly fine. Whatever window gets the most sun in your house or your apartment, that's where you want them to go. Next video coming up is seed starting your cool weather crops. These are my kohlrabi, broccolis, um, cabbages and stuff like that. So I think maybe either tonight or tomorrow I'll have the two videos for starting your cool weather crops. All right, so let me cut in the other video and show you how this progresses. I want to show you how to make your own sweet potato slips. A couple things to keep in mind. Today is May 17th, and I started these on February 8th. So online, sometimes it says it can be done within 30 days. I don't think so. So you're going to have to give yourself at least 60 to 90 days before these would go out into your garden to get the growth that you need. Not only do you need to get them to grow three to five inch stalks like this, you also have to give them a week or two to sit in the water to root out and those these cuttings will go right into your garden this is all you do that's the cutting that I just took before the video you just take it off of your plant just like that you'd stick these into water in and very quickly within a week they're gonna have a nice root system somewhere between a week or two of these have been sitting in there here's one that's been in there two weeks that one's probably ready to go into the ground and these have been in there for about a week but you can see the root system start so a week or two in water when these stalks are about three to five inches tall and you will have your own sweet potato slips that can just be planted right into your garden now sweet potatoes are not like potatoes they don't want to be planted when potatoes want to be planted they would like to be planted when it's warmer towards June here in Maryland zone 7. They will root out nicely over time again these are planted on February 8th and they took this one took about 45 days to start growing and doing what's supposed to. These two never even grew and these are all organic sweet potatoes that I bought at an organic store. I only store. put two vines in here because I was experimenting. I wanted to see how large I could grow a sweet potato. So two vines. Usually I put in four, five, or six in a space like this. And in fact, I'll harvest the other one because that has, I think, five vines in there. And we can just see, you know, what the difference is between something of just growing two plants and seeing what size uh, and amount of potatoes so we get out of So let's start there. with the potatoes sweet potatoes <laughs> all right so that's a large sweet potato all right so two uh, slips two nice sized sweet potatoes I don't 
feel any more in here. So there's the second container. About 12 sweet, sweet potatoes came out of there. There's my hand so you can have a comparison for size. Not bad. I think this is a great production for four plants being in there. Compared to just using two slips, two vines over here, you did get two massive sweet potatoes. So I think they are both a success. But this will give you some idea that you can use 10 gallon, 12 gallon containers. If you use more slips, more vines, you're going to get smaller sweet potatoes, but you're going to get a good quantity. If you want to just go for size, less vines, and they're going to concentrate, the plants are going to concentrate all their resources into one massive tuber. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to my channel. Every year I start from the beginning. So in January I'm going to do indoor seed starting and I go through the whole process of planting, tending, managing pest disease and harvesting plants over a year.